Good morning, afternoon, evening, guys. We're back another random tier list today. Diving for some reason, I've never done a Naruto uh, video before, so we're diving into Naruto. We're going to talk about the tail beast, but we want to be as random as possible, so we are going to talk about the baby tail beasts. So these were the tail beasts when they were first created way back when in the flashbacks in the show. Tail beasts are super, super powerful demon monsters, basically, that inhabit the bodies of regular ninja. And uh, these are them in their baby looking like forms so they're all very cute we're gonna go ahead and put them on this tier list guys if you like random tier lists or if you have any ideas for future ones let me know in the comment section down below um this one was actually one i didn't make so it's easy to find easy to knock out here we're gonna start with shikaku the one tails now i do have these names up on the side because i definitely don't remember the five tails name for example um however i may mispronounce them so definitely uh, correct me in the comments if i am wrong shikaku looks pretty cute um, in general, I'm going to say it looks pretty noise in general. Um, I love, I like his, his mouth, how it's all spiky and everything, but he's all little and cute. Um, so that's cool. I've always thought Shikaku's design was, was good, even all the way back in Naruto. Uh, Shikaku is the one tail that was inside of Gara, uh, So he's the sand beast monster. Um, I'd say he looks pretty noise as a baby. We absolutely must protect the two tails. The two tails is, uh, Matatabi. Matatabi, I always thought was one of the coolest designs of a tail beast, and it got so little screen time in the show. Uh, it was kind of unfortunate there. I think as a baby, though, it is like a little kitten, um, little little uh, chakra kitten, you know, with the blue flames and energy, and that's super cool. And uh, yeah, must protect that. Isobu, the three tails. They gave this guy a lot of time in the filler arc in the Naruto anime, which was cool. Um, but it would have been nice to also flesh that out since he does have some really, really cool Jinchuriki over the years. I'm going to say he looks pretty nice. He's a little baby turtle. Uh, baby turtle monster. You know, that's pretty cute. It is... Fireworks still going off around here if that popped up on the mic. Sorry about that. Son Goku. I'm going to say it's all right. Son Goku, little monkey baby. Um, I, th I think they could have made him look really, really cute if they had made him look a little more baby-ish. To me, he kind of just looks miniature. Um, I might be... Let's see, I do have another image here. Yeah, he kind of just looks like likes looks miniature, not as cute as kind of maybe it could have been. Um, so I'm gonna say it's all right there. Kokuo, I hardly remember this one. Um, this is the one I remember the absolute least from the show, um, or any or anything really. I I have no real recollection of the Five Tails, so we are unfortunately gonna put that one in D tier. Uh, the Six Tails whose name is Saiken. Saiken, we're going to go ahead and put in It's All Right. I am not a huge bug or slug person um, or snails or anything like that. So not my favorite type of animal here, but I do think it looks pretty cute. Um, little, you know, nice little slug and monster. Chomi, this is the one that looks the most different from um, its, its like grown-up form. As a, as, an, as a real tail beast, as an adult, it's, it's a giant moth. And obviously, it's kind of a, kind of a larva right here. Um, so I'm going to say that one's all right. Again, not a huge fan of bugs myself. I think I'm going to move up Shikaku and Isobu here, move up Son Goku to Noist here. I think that better kind of clarifies how I feel here. The Eight Tails is up next, which is Gyuki. Gyuki, I'm going to say, looks kind of nice. Obviously, got that face, which is very iconic. The Eight Tails was in the was in the manga and anime a lot. Um, he is an ox octopus, which is such a weird combination of animals. Um, but it looks, you know, it looks kind of cool. Looks pretty cute, it being all small and everything. And then finally, we must protect Karama, the QB, the Nine Tails. Um, so cute as a baby fox, absolutely awesome. So, most da most dangerous monsters in Naruto reduced to babies. Here, here's how I'd rank them. What do you think? Did I get any of them wrong? Let me know in the comment section down below. 